Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Liber tutorial for beginner. In the previous tutorial, we saw data binding in Liber and in this tutorial, we are going to see some method and action in Liber. So here you can see we are showing the name over here and we are sending the name over here, this one, uh, leave your life, the data over here and we are showing the name over here, which is uh, this one, leave your life. So here, uh, what we will do is that we will have a button over here next to name and if we click that button, it will reset the name to something else and uh, let's just add a br tag over here uh, just so that we can understand that name properly if we just refresh here okay this is the name and instead of leave your life let's say over here a name let's say here carlos we can save it and we can refresh okay we have the name carlos over here and uh, next to the name we have a button over here let's say button and we'll say over here reset name in the button we are going to say or clone model sorry not model uh, or clone click equal to we will give two double quotation and inside it let's say here dollar set we'll say two first bracket inside two first bracket we'll say over here name then give a comma then two single quotation and let's say we'll change the name to james so what will happen is that if we click on this reset button uh, reset name button then it will set the name to james so at the beginning the name is carlos and on clicking on this button the name will change to james because we are setting the name over here so let's save it and if we now refresh here here you can see we have a reset button over here and if i click reset name and here you can see the name change over here and here as well in the input field because also in the input field we have our model name so this is the easy way to update or reset the name but this is not a recommended way so what we'll do is that we'll mention a function name over here so let's say over here reset name we are calling a function over here which is reset name so this is a function and we write this function over here so here uh, over here we are going to say public function reset set name which we just mentioned over here then we'll give to first bracket then we'll just give to second bracket and inside it we'll say uh, we want to change the reset the name to a different thing obviously so here we'll just say dollar this this arrow sign will say name equal to and let's say uh by default the name is carlos and we'll change the name from carlos to let's say this time it will be max and let's end it with a semicolon so right now what will happen is that let me just write it like this so that you can see it properly so what will happen is that if we click on this reset name button then it will call this function which is reset name and we'll come over here and we'll change name to max uh, from carlos to max so let's save it here and here so let's just refresh and here if we click reset name it will change the name from carlos to max so if i click reset here you can see max so here instead of click we can use a few more event like we can say say mouse enter so uh, mouse enter like this and if we now save it uh, so what will happen if is, is that you don't have to click this time if you just take your mouse to the reset button it will automatically change the name from carlos to max let me just show you let's refresh and if i just click my cursor or mouse to the button it will change the name to max i didn't click it okay let's refresh again let's take my mouse over here again you can see it automatically change the name you can use a few more feature like key up key down or key right key left uh, a lot of feature so we'll just make it mouse click over here and we can do one more thing that is we can send a name from here to here so for it we'll just keep two first bracket here then two single quotation and here uh, we'll sell the name let's say here the name will be row null do and here we need to catch this name so for it we'll declare a variable we'll say over here dollar name and here instead of max we'll say over here dollar name which is this name okay so we are sending this name to over here and we are saying that 
set the name to this one okay so let's save it here and here let's refresh and click reset name and here you can see ronaldo you can do a lot more things uh, over here okay i think i did not show you one more thing and that is str to upper will give first bracket opening and closing over here if i now save it then if i just refresh here you can see all the data is in upper you can do it lower or any more anything you want and i just uh, did not mention this str upper in any pbs tutorial that's why i am just mentioning this and if i just click on reset name it will keep the rolando name upper as well so this time let me just show you the submit form so here we are going to mention a form uh, we'll say here a form 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 will open over here and this form will end over here and in the form we'll say here action action will be hash uh, for now we'll do nothing and here we'll say where it will be it is a submit right uh, it is a form so we need to submit so we'll say over here submit equal to to double quotation and from this button we are calling this uh, reset name function so this time we'll just uh, let me just cut it from here and we'll paste it over here and let's just remove it or clip from here so right now if we save it uh, there is a little bit different here we are saying wire submit so what will happen is that it will submit the name data ronaldo so the name on change the name will uh, stay the same because uh, the page will be reloaded because let me just show you let me just refresh over here and if i click reset name here you can see the name is still carlos because we submitted the form over here you here you can see hash which we mentioned over here action equal to hash so what we'll do is that we'll show over here prevent so it will prevent from submitting the form so let's save it now and this time let me just remove this let's press enter and this time let's click reset name and here you can see the name changed to ronaldo and it did not submit the form so those are the basics of uh, like method and uh, action so those are pretty simple so this is all for this tutorial and in the next tutorial we will see life cycle hook in liver so if this tutorial was useful to you or if you learn something new then make sure to subscribe this channel i will actually really appreciate it and thanks again for watching stay tuned and stay healthy